MTN. Everywhere you go. Project Fame! What's a feeling? Kule Daru. Kule Daru. Kule Daru. Kule Daru. Let me tell you one thing I like about your song. I love the chorus very much. Very, 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 very much. I love the chorus. I think it's very, I think it's very repetitive. Well, no, no, well I don't think it is repetitive. Um, yeah, I, I, I think it is the kind of thing that I can unconsciously begin to sing. And I think that makes for a great song. Thanks, so. sir. You know what I mean? So I like the chorus. I'm not immediately sure how I feel about your verse. It's simple, straightforward, but it, it, it gives me that prose feeling again. You know what I mean? I think there's a certain wit. I think there's a certain, um, um, I don't know if the word is intelligence. I don't think that's what it is because I know that you're super intelligent. I think there's a certain um, level of trying, for want of a better word, that you need to try to write a song, for it to come out feeling and sounding like a great song. Do you understand what I mean? Yes, sir. Because believe you me, there are all kinds of songs out there. That right now, you can decide whether you want to write a song that will last six, three months or six months, or whether you want to write a song that will last hundreds of years. Do you understand? And it's the weight of what, what not, not just the weight of what you say, but also the craft, the, the style in which you say it. I think that's also what determines, you know, how long you feel like you want your song to last, okay? Or how relevant you think your song will be after a certain time. Because culture and all the other things that influence us to write some songs sometimes, those things are dynamic. And, you know, they move on. But, you know, how does your song remain relevant? But I like your chorus. I definitely like your chorus. I think that it's great. We'll talk about it a bit more um, after today. Um, okay, great. So, is there anything else you, you want to share? There's some other songs, but I don't know. Okay, let's hear it real quick. Every time I look in your eyes, I see love. Every time I feel your embrace, I feel love. Girl, I'm falling for you. What am I gonna do when you're gone? Girl, I love you. I'm gonna miss you Every time I see your face Happiness fills my mind, oh baby Every time I think of you I can't help but smile Girl, I'm falling for you What am I gonna do when you're gone? Girl, I love you I'm gonna miss you Said I really love you, love you, girl. Said I really love you, love you, girl. Whoa, uh, uh. I really love you, love you, girl. Ooh, I really love you, love you, girl. Nice, nice. Um, I, I, yeah, I like. It's, it's a nice melody. I like. I like what you're doing with your chorus. Um, it's a bit uncharacteristic of especially Nigerian music of today, which is nice. Um, which brings me to another thing that we're going to talk about. And I need for us to make notes of some of these things. You know, the, 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 the melodies that you use and the progressions you use in your songs and just how commercially viable in the space you are in. That's something else that we need to talk about. Just so... You know how not to go to the east and sing the Nasimon to them. Oh, well, not to the east. I shouldn't generalize and say to the east in general, but how you know not to go to a gathering of, you know, some serious brothers who are used to it, you know, who probably appreciate Stephen Osita Osadibi more than anything else and go and sing, uh, let's see, maybe a... Yeah, like I said, Nina Simone or Ella Fitzgerald or something to them. You know how to make your music, you know, just sort of appeal to a wider audience. You know, how to stay in touch so that when you write a song, your song is relevant and your song can easily cut across. 
or if you want to write specifically to meet the needs of a particular audience. But that's a nice song. I like the melody. It's really nice. It's the kind of thing I personally would like to listen to. Um, but I'm one out of seven billion people in the world. So we'll talk about it a bit more and um, just see you know, which of your songs we can um, help you work on collectively to just take it to that place and also give you some experience you know, that you can use the songwriting going forward. Nini. Thanks, sir. OK, sir. Um, I'm not a good at songwriter. I'm the type that will listen and then make my write from the soundtrack. Cool. But I have something down anyway. OK, cool. So, um, OK. Let's hear it. First thing I noticed about this song, um, I don't know if it's your voice, or if it's the words, or if it's the scene that the, that you've set. I mean, just the fact that you know it's it sounds to me like a heartbreak song. I don't know yes. which what exactly it is. Yes. Uh, it 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 is moving. It's quite it's quite moving. It's very so it might be a great melody. That's in need of. Um, the right words, you know, that can measure up and sit, you know, good with the melody. It might be a great melody, but I can tell you this for a fact, you know, it's, it is moving. It is moving. Um, you just need to know how to work it, you know, into, into, into that space where it's a complete whole song. But it's nice. It's a, it's, I think, you know, as an attempt for a songwriting, it's not a bad start, you know. We might have to mess around with the words a little, but um, the songwriting is not a bad start. Okay, so, sir. let's talk to okay. Simon. Yeah. Let's hear what you've got. Uh, I have a couple of them, so I don't know which, but let me start from. No, well, uh, a couple to me would mean two, so pick your best two. Okay. Starting with your best one. That's, I don't know which is the best, but let me start with this. Do you want to sleep on it and make a decision? Because no. you know, for the sake of your other people, we cannot listen to five songs. Okay, let me start with this. Hmm? I can't believe that I am seeing you again. Pour me what I make, I know, say no, be dreaming. I can't believe that it's you that I'm seeing. I've been praying for a day next to you, my baby. Look at me deep down inside my eyes, baby. Uh, and tell me, say, you know, you go be my bride today. And I'll I take you somewhere you never see in your life, baby. I raise a family together with you. Oh, more you find. I'm never ever gonna betray you, baby. I swear. Oh, more you find. I'm never ever gonna forsake you. I promise you. 
Because you find. Okay, what's the next song? Okay. Okay. Back to back, we sit on the floor, you and me. Tonight would be so lonely I say this inside of me What I do, baby? Do I deserve the things you do to me? Oh, baby It's supposed to be me and you It's true You break my heart you throw me away So dark and lonely I came to say I'm sorry Hold me close And tell me that you love me That is all I want to hear And one more thing You know could break my heart One more thing what? Sir? What's the last line of the song? You know, go break my heart. Okay, so what's this, is this a heartbreak song or it's a hold me close song? I don't, I don't understand. Like, what are heart, the lyrics of the song? Back to back, we sit on the floor, you and me. Tonight would be so lonely. I say this inside of me. Waiting, I do. Do I deserve this thing you do to me? It's supposed to be me and you. And you break my heart. You throw me away somewhere dark and lonely. You break my heart, what? You break my heart. Mm -hmm. You throw me away. Mm -hmm. Somewhere dark and lonely. Mm -hmm. I came to say I'm sorry. Hold me close. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Why are you coming to say you're sorry? Sorry for what? If she broke your heart and threw you away, and threw you somewhere dark and lonely. I must have done something before. Oh my goodness, but you're not establishing that. So here you are talking about back to back, you're sitting on the floor. It was supposed to be the two of you. Um, you're thinking this is going to be lonely, and then you're moving on to how she broke your heart and threw you somewhere dark and lonely, and you're coming to say you're sorry. From all indications, she's the one who's not being very nice. See, that's what I mean by you cannot always be there. If you sell 10 million copies of your CDs, you're not, or your CD, you're not going to go to 10 million people and explain to them that you must have done something wrong. That's why she threw you away somewhere dark and lonely. Do you understand? You've got to be able to set a scene. You've got to be able to set a stage. Good songwriting is coherent without necessarily you having to give your extra explanation. You, you know, do you understand what I mean? Yeah. You, you can't tell me that maybe I must have done something. I mean, you're, you're not even sure if you did something wrong. Too. You know what I mean? What? The verse two could Let's be hear the verse two then. I've not written that. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's not complicated. If, it's guys, it. feel free to laugh. <laughs> I don't mean to do that to you, my friend. You are, you've got a great song, but I don't think you're, you're not, I, I need you to think, I, I need you to think as a songwriter. So what you're, what you're doing now is telling me, well, okay, maybe verse two then. But even, even at that, even at that, and yes, it can happen. It can happen, you know, you know, it can be a situation where you decide to do like a flashback to go to explain the situation, you know, from verse two. But even at that, you're establishing the chorus from verse one, right? There's no, there's no continuum. There's no, um, it just doesn't come together. You, you understand what I mean? Yes, Guys, help me out on this. No one is telling me how, how you feel, no, you know. It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't come together. Do you understand what I'm saying? I, I think you need to establish how you move from that verse to the chorus. Even if you are going to tell the full story in verse 2. Do you understand? There needs to be, you need to be able to tie it together. I'm sorry, you were going to say? I said there needs to be a transition, something that would link you to Exactly, there needs to be a transition. You need to tie it together in a way that makes sense. Do you understand? So it's not just you know, pieces of a puzzle that, you know, we're just sort of left to figure out and you, you know what I mean? It's yeah. nice when you tie it together because half the time, don't forget that anything 
you know, whether it's a work of, as, as long as, you know, it can be equated with a work of literature, whether it's poetry or prose or drama or song or whatever it is, is a reflection of people's lives. And people want to connect with it, no matter how silly it is, people connect with it. Do you understand? So there's got to be some logic to it. There's got to be some kind of connection to it. Do you understand? In order for it to make sense. Okay? Yeah, but nice melody. It, it, you know, it's, it reminds me of what we used to call blues in the 80s. Yeah. That makes me sound very old. Um, <laughs> Do I, give you I was born in the 80s, stuck in the 80s. So. Um, cool. So, Should I try one more? I'm sorry? Should I try one more? Should you try? One more. Okay, one more, and then sleep over the rest of your songs. Yes, and, sir. you know, let us know. In the night, when the sun is gone, you know I believe in you and me. You are all my eyes can see. When I'm crazy, lazy, lonely, and I'm out of strength. You know, I'm paying attention to your words, but I can't hear you as well. In, in the night, when the sun is gone, you know I believe in you and me. You are all my eyes can see. When I'm crazy, lazy, lonely, and I'm out of strength. You keep on pushing me ahead, babe And my confidence is here Don't give up You stay strong, stay strong, yeah And that's the thing to say That gets me up again I might keep my head up high So high, yeah The sun will shine forever On the both of us together So high, so Show love to another, and that's the love the weather so high. So what's this song about? Uh, someone that gives me hope when I'm down. Mm. So what are your opening lines again? In the night when yeah. the sun is gone, you know I believe in you, and me. You're the, you're okay, all my eyes. I, need, I need to say two things. Um, I hope you know that if you're going to use the phrase in the night, or if you're going to use the, the statement in the night, the only thing that will excuse you to use it is poetic license, because grammatically it's incorrect. Okay. You know that, right? You can't say in the night. It's at night. Okay, I, but if you're... No, but I mean, if I've, I've used all kinds of things. Backstreet Boys have a song where they said, does his gifts come from the heart? Or does his friends take all your time? Now that's absolute, complete grammatical blunder, but hey, they sold, they went platinum with it, so, you know, who are we to judge? But I'm just saying, you know, for your information, keep it at the back of your mind. If that's not what you're meant to do, then, you know, that's information that can help you. But secondly, um, poetic license can let you get away with something sometimes because maybe melodically it makes sense for what you're trying to say. That's something I've done, you know, and something I continue to do as a songwriter but it's something that is deliberate when you do it. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's the way music has made it don't matter become popular, even though, well, it's, it's, a, it's, a, manner, it's a manner of speaking for African Americans. Music has popularized it, so you can say it don't matter, even though we know that you know, that's not um, correct. Um, so let's come back to this line. In the night when the sun is gone, I believe in what? I believe in you and me. You're all my eyes can see. Okay. So why in the night when the sun is gone? That's because I'm alone that, at that time. Mm -hmm. And I'm thinking to myself that when I'm crazy, lazy, lonely, and I'm out of strength, you keep mm -hmm. on pushing me ahead, then my confidence is here. I think I understand something you may be trying to say. Well, I guess what I'm trying to do is tie the phrase in the night when the sun is gone, I believe in you and me. Maybe, I mean, I, I could, and this is just me, figuratively say, in the night when the sun is gone, meaning no matter how, you know, you, when, when things go down, when it's dark, you know, when, when we're in that space, I still believe in you and me, or I still feel like, you know, I get strength from you, you know, no matter how, how dark or how, how low or how evening-ish, you know, it, it can come to. But that's me trying to create an explanation for your line. I think, you know, you should, that's, that's something I would like to come from you. Do you understand? 
I don't, I, I feel like that's probably what you're trying to say, but I don't feel the strength in it as much yet. So that gives me cause for concern. So think about it, you know, sleep, sleep on it. And you, um, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys the general idea that I get from this exercise that we're doing right now when we're done. But thanks for sharing your songs. They're really nice. Um, I, th I think that we can develop something and move with it um, very quickly. Um, so who haven't I listened to? Omolayo. <sighs> okay. I'll start with the chorus. Okay, let's hear it. Take it hard to the sky, to the mountains and the plains. Let the joyful music flow from my heart. Cause it's sick in Africa. That's the chorus. Mm -hmm. Come on, people. I want to tell you a lovely story that I call Africa. We have culture, that's our nature. Come here and listen to melodious chorus. Hospitable people, excellent morals. As you can see, we have the nature's best. Wherever I go, whatever I be, I let the one my lovely Africa see. Okay, let me, let, me, let me tell you something before you go on. And this has absolutely nothing to do with your songwriting, but um, I honestly, honestly think that you should, when you're going to sing your high notes, right, don't try to dodge it by going all quick false on me, okay? If you have to push to sing it, push to sing it. You know, be vulnerable enough to let your voice crack at this point as long as it's not happening to you on stage. Sure. You're a human being, it's absolutely allowed. That's the only way you build it. Break it to build it, okay? Yes. Yeah, so don't, you know, don't play, um, don't play Mr. I'm going to keep, you know, I'm, I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep my dirt to myself. Let your voice come through. If it's gonna break, let it break, but let me feel you. Let me be entertained by you, okay? okay? Cool. Sing your chorus again, please. Take it high to the sky, through the mountains and the plains. Let the joyful music flow from our hearts, cause it's secret in Africa. What does that mean, the last line? God bless Africa. I'm sorry? God bless Africa. That's in what language? South Africa. Huh? South African. South Africa has a language called South Africa? Um, it's, I don't know which tribe speaks that particular language. Okay, find out. Let me, my guess would be Zulu, but I'm not sure. I, I won't be, you know, don't quote me on that. And don't take it to the back, but that would be my guess. But, um, oh, that's part of the South African anthem, right? Cause it's really Africa, yes. right? Yes, sir. Ah, there we go. Um, okay. Um, yeah, it's nice. It's a nice. It's a nice song. Um, I, I, for whatever reason, I haven't warmed up to the chorus yet, as such. Um, it's supposed to be a big song. It's supposed to be gripping. But for whatever reason, I don't find the chorus. Excuse me, particularly gripping. Just you know, it just. It comes, maybe by the time we go into arrangements and all that other good stuff, you know, it might take it to the next level. I don't know. I, I can't say for certain. But let's see. Do you have another song? Yes. Sir. Let me hear it. Mary had a lead to lamb. The sleeves was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb would also go. Childhood friends could be fun for kids to sing along. Growing up under the sun will make you understand the song. And I can say rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. 
Rain, rain, go away. Little children want to play. All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. That is why my friends and I are out here to play with our toys. I know you're a friend, but why are you disturbing me? Season of love will surely end. The roses will help you to see. Oh, when I say rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. I'll tell you something I like about this song. You have a very, very... Um, when you started with Mary Had a Little Lamb, I was, I was starting to be a little scared. And then as you progress, you have a definite... Um, you, you're actually true to... Who did I have that rhyme conversation with? Immaculate, right? You're the one I had the rhyme conversation with, right? Did you observe something about, even though well, some of the lines were not originally his, and that's something else we're going to talk about, um, um, a, a major element, or a major con songwriting controversy, you know, it can be seen as, you know, depending on how it's used, a number of things. It can be co-writing, it can be plagiarism, or it can be interpolation. You know, but it, it depends on how it is viewed, you know, by the laws that govern. Because, I mean, songwriting has become so lucrative um, a business that people fight each other heavily for rights to songs because publishing is the real deal, okay? So that's something we'll talk about. I mean, like I said, as I listen to your songs, you know, I'm inspired to share like little nuggets with you that I'd like for us to talk about, you know, in the course of this, um, our little exercise. So that's something we're also going to talk about, you know, what could be seen as interpolation, what could be seen as, as an intelligent interpolation, what could be seen as straight up, downright, outright plagiarism or, or copycats, for want of a better, you know what I mean? And what could be seen as, you know, co-writing a song. That sort of thing. That's, that's something I also want for us to look at. But even in your own words that were injected into this, I can see that you maintained a definite rhyme scheme. So we're going to talk about those rhyme schemes and how to use them to write songs and how to intelligently use them so that it is not just obvious that we're trying to rhyme, but um, that we're intelligent about it so that it makes sense and you know, there's a continuum and there's an easy flow. Okay, so that's a very interesting, playful, um, light-hearted song you've got. You know, we'll, we'll see about that. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. Yeah, so thanks, Omolayo, for sharing your song. Um, is there anyone else I haven't talked with? Great. So, guys, um, the, the purpose of this, let me, ju let me just share this with you very quickly, um, even as we, we round up. My general idea... One, one thing I'm taking away with me from this exercise is that we all have the ability to create songs. Every one of you in this room has the ability to create songs. I think what you need to do is just have some kind of perspective, have some things in front of you as you create those songs. Some rules, some do's and some do nots that will help you. Not every single one of you will go you know, forward to become a songwriter. Some of you might just be you know, fantastic singers, and that's okay. But when people bring songs to you and you have to sing those songs, because of your million dollar voice or your million naira voice, you are going to be in a better position to say, you know what, this I discern will work for me well, or this I discern will not work for me well, because of the added knowledge of songwriting that you have. So you may work with this at the end of the day as a songwriter, you may not but it's knowledge that you will find useful as long as you're a musician. So let me establish that. First of all, every one of you has the ability to create a song. But let me also establish that one thing I can take away from your songs generally is they tend to, especially your use of words, they tend to be limited by what you expose yourself to in terms of how you read and how you express yourself. Um, to be a great songwriter or any writer at that, you have to be a voracious reader because um, you are expressing opinions, expressing views, 
you know, from a very, very, very informed angle and also with a lot of wit, you know, with a lot of technical writing prowess. And you've got to know how to do it because you can't give what you don't have. It's not enough to just listen to songs, which is what happens with most of us. We just listen to songs. But as you write, as you read, as you travel, as you allow yourself to be exposed, you know, you're able to interpret and just sort of bring in these different cultures and they help you, they make you a better songwriter or whatever writer at that. Okay, so I think that, you know, let's, let's broaden our perspective, let's broaden our choice of words, let's broaden our vocabulary. It'll help us express, you know, songwriting better, you know, in a manner that doesn't just come across as you're just speaking to me, you know, but it's, it's witty, it's intelligent, it's funny or it's, it's serious, it's intense. You're able to convey the right emotion that your song needs to convey and you don't feel stuck looking for words because you have the vocabulary and everything else to carry through with it. But I think you guys are going to do great. I look forward to hanging out with you tomorrow and um, just sort of starting properly, you know, to look at these songs and making headway with them. I think we're going to come up with some really great songs, and I think you guys are going to have a fantastic time. So I enjoyed meeting you guys. You guys are fantastic. Mm -hmm. Great. Project Fame! What a feeling! MTN. Everywhere you go.